anyone planning to file a claim related to the oil spill in the Gulf South should do so as soon as possible. That's the word today from lawyer Ken Feinberg. President Obama this week put him in charge of distributing money to victims of the BP disaster. Feinberg also oversaw payments to families of the victims of the attacks of 9-11. And he says time is of the essence. The payments will come out of that $20 billion escrow account that BP agreed yesterday to set up for victims of the spill. Critics say the $20 billion won't be enough. But keep in mind, we still don't know exactly how much oil has been flowing into the Gulf of Mexico. The estimates keep growing, but now we're getting revealing new images of this slick. Phil Keating's in our Florida newsroom tonight. Phil, there's a company that's using these high-tech planes to measure the spill and track its movement, and I understand you went on one of the flyovers today? Yes, Shep, a revealing flight it was this just today as Thad Allen announced, declared really, that he's switching tactics to more air surveillance to better spot where the oil is to more effectively deploy boats and crews. We flew on board a Sierra Nevada Corporation's integrated mission systems plane for its very unique perspective. plane designed for war zones, border protection, and forest fires now tackling the worst oil spill in U.S. history. But yeah, just sheer, sheer awe. I mean... Underneath the nose cone, cameras provide infrared and electro-optical video and pictures to the crew on board, which can then beam it down to commanders below. You know, time is of the essence, so uh, getting the information out as near real time as possible I think is pretty significant to uh, battling something of, uh, of this magnitude. This imagery can be crucial when determining when and where to deploy boats and people. This here is one of the skimming vessels out there trying to clean the oil off the surface. Now in infrared, the oil, which is hotter than water, is represented by all of this white. And here's the white boat right here, the dark pathway here, that seawater cleaned of oil. But as you can see, the further back you go from the skimming boat, the oil now bleeding all into the path. And for this crew, pretty overwhelming. Look at all the freaking oil down there. That plane's also quite effective at mapping large incidents like forest fires, and the former military guys on board that plane had fully intended to map the entirety of this oil spill, but shocking to them, they had to turn around and fly back before finishing the job to refuel. The oil spill, Shep, is simply that large. Phil Keating in our South Florida.